I would like to uh, talk about what I believe uh, is gravity and I believe gravity is the uh, <clears throat> linear um, uh, momentum of uh, matter as it moves through the dimension of time and so to explain that um, this is represents space this is a let this represent three-dimensional space and this is where we live and any velocity along this surface of space uh, we would call spatial velocity and any mass contained within this space we would call spatial mass and any velocity pointed through downward through um, the surface of space we would call uh, temporal velocity or the velocity of time and <clears throat> what this is is this this is a surface of the a universe and if the universe is expanding um, it's expanding outward this way which creates a velocity uh, any mass moving outward through the dimension of time would uh, uh, fill up <clears throat> well, let's just say that so so uh, when the universe expands outward and you have a spatial mass here, then this movement outward creates a velocity of time that points this way. So that's the velocity of velocity of time, and this is the mass mass of space. And so this is, and this warperture of the surface of the universe is what we call gravity. <clears throat> so we can say that, that gravity equals a mass of space times the uh, velocity of time. And this is a, uh, um, a linear momentum force. And so Whenever you see the mass of space multiplied by the velocity of time, it creates this linear momentum, which we call gravity. So now I'd like to prove that concept. <clears throat> now, uh, Einstein has a famous equation, and um, well, I believe that uh, total energy or universal energy is comprised of the energy of space and the energy of time. And these combine to create universal energy, which incorporate both space and time. Uh, Einstein uh, solved for the energy of space, which is this triangle here. And the energy of space is comprised of um, mass energy and uh, momentum energy. So you have the total energy of space is equal to um, mass energy times the speed of light squared which equals the um, mass energy of the, uh, of the um, invariant mass squared plus the momentum er uh, uh, energy of the um, relative mass. And then uh, you solve this equation, you can rewrite it this way in terms of the, um, in terms of the um, rest mass. And then solving for the rest mass, you can um, derive it down to this final equation, which is uh, Einstein's equation for mass, relevant relative mass, where the uh, rest mass and is uh, well, the uh, relativistic mass is equal to the rest mass divided by this uh, this fa f uh, factor. This is this is all in terms of spatial energy. So now, what I think is well, what we need to do now is look at the temporal energy, or this other um, triangle over here. So well, we pretty much do the same thing. We look at it in terms of time, and we write the equation out. We solve for it in terms of the. Uh, mm, um, rest in a uh, rest mass of time and it's the same derivation and it brings you down to this final equation so as you can see um, 
we have these two results. This is mass and velocity in terms of space. So this would be mass and velocity all contained uh, within this surface of space. <clears throat> so your velocities would be going this way and your mass would be in there. <clears throat> this other um, equation is mass and velocity in terms of time. So you would have uh, velocities going this way and your mass would be aligned this way through through the surface of space. So now if we take Einstein, and we, if we also say that light, the speed of light um, if we say that the uh, speed of light is equal to um, the, uh, the speed of light is equal to the velocity of space plus the velocity of time and the velocity of space squared plus the velocity of time squared and using this relationship you can um, begin by taking Einstein's um, spatial mass and velocity equation and then um, rewriting this factor in this way um, bringing the speed of light out from beneath the radical over here and then inverting it which gives you that and then you can refer back to this equation and see that the velocity of time is equal to the speed of light minus the velocity of space so you can rewrite this like that and since that's squared underneath the radical that's just the um, velocity of time and then bring it up to the other side of the equation you get um, the velo mass of space times the velocity of time equals the rest mass of space times the speed of light which as I was saying earlier <clears throat> anytime you see the mass of space times the velocity of time that's gravity that it does this to the surface of space you have the velocity of time pointing downward and you have the mass uh, as part of the surface of space when you get these two combinations together it creates gravity and so mm, that's what you have right here so you can say gravity equals that and uh, this equals equals that so gravity equals that so gravity equals the rest mass of space times the speed of light so comparing this to the equation for uh, energy we see that ener relativistic energy equals this and when the velocity of uh, through space equals zero then E equals mc squared on the other hand gravity equals mc for all values of velocity through space so gravity is independent of velocity it's only dependent on mass and that's it so so right here right here that's what I believe right there